Today's episode of This or That, we have two $1 silver coins. And one coin has been around for greater than 40 years. And that was, if you've watched our videos, that was one of the ways that I personally use to determine if the price guides are show a true value. Uh, 40 years plus, the price has been established. And the other one has not been around 40 years. It is a modern silver coin. Yeah, it's a bullion piece. However, it is made by a government. It does have a denomination, a year, and a mintage. So it is a coin. Um, so let's start off with the 1922 peace dollar MS-63. It's got a little bit of ugly toning, some spotting. It is an MS-63, but it's not, it's not an amazing 63. So pricing, we're going to use the CPG price guide. This, all of these prices are available free on the website. Uh, this is not the, the coin dealer gray sheet pricing. It's just um, free pricing. So we're going to use that. And let's take a look. I've marked off the dollars here. This is a 1922 and MS 63. It shows $33. Well, yeah, you could probably negotiate a, a couple bucks off of that based on the the spotting the toning would you rather have this or would you rather have that or would you rather purchase this or that would you rather have this or that in your collection all of these are questions that I'm posing to you guys today 2008 American Silver Eagles, 2008. This is not the burnished. This is not the proof. This is just the standard 2008 in MS69, 27 bucks. So these two coins are going to be pretty similar in price. Would you pay a little bit more for this one? Which one do you think has more long-term potential? If you talk about melt value, this has more silver in it. This is one ounce of silver. This is about 0.77, about three quarters of an ounce of silver. So melt value, this is your winner. Mintage, mintage figures, you know, I don't know. I do not know. Off the top of my head, I'm going to guess it's this one. I, I should have prepared before this video. Uh, 1922 is a very common date for this. That's why I chose this coin. It's a very common date. But, you know, some say the peace market, the peace dollar market right now is soft. And, and what a better time to get into a market when the prices are down at a discount. Um, I was listening to the radio and there was an episode they were talking about 401ks, long-term investing, and, and they said, you know, if there's a discount at the, at the grocery store or at the, at the clothing store, all of a sudden everything is 50% off, closeouts, big sale. You know, my wife, she likes Target. Hey, she's going there because they have a sale. You know, but, but when prices come down on stocks... Instead of people going and buying more stocks, or in this situation, coins, uh, people people go away. You know, silver. If silver is low, a lot of times people don't buy it. They don't sell it. You know, they just kind of. It's at a discounted price, but people don't get into it. They wait, and all of a sudden, the prices are going up on the silver, and that's when there's a buzz around it. Honestly, I, I personally think both are good buys, but we're talking about just this or that. 
and personally, my opinion, if the prices were the same, let's say the prices were the same, I would choose this coin. I would choose this coin over that coin. The prices were the same. Only really because it's in a holder. It's an MS63. It's nothing special. But I do see the potential of this increasing. Now, if silver increases, this will go up. Both of these essentially will go up. But this has a little bit more premium. And I, and I do believe the market is soft on the piece. The potential is there. So when both go up because of silver, my opinion, this will go up a little bit more. There'll be maybe a little bit more demand. And, and if, if you ask me my opinion, this one or that one, I would choose this one. Please let me know which one you would choose in the comments below. Let me know why. And, and you know, let's say, let's say this wasn't in a holder. You just had a loose coin here and a loose coin there. You know, which one would you choose if they were not in, in a holder? They were just loose coins. They were raw. You could probably get this one for cheaper than that one. You could probably get this cheaper than that. You could probably get this for $20 and you might be able to pick this one up for $18 if they were raw. And, and I, would, I would, again, pick that coin over that one. Yes, you want to have silver. Yes, it's a good idea to have eagles. Um, um, but we're talking this one or that one, potential for greatest return on your investment. My opinion, my choice, my video, peace dollar. Thank you guys for watching.